All right, so I wanted to shoot a video on this and try to give you a heads up if you don't already know. And this little critter you see right here, trying to get you a good view without it being blurry. That little critter, if you see that little critter in your garden, do not remove it. And I'm going to tell you why right now. Because that little critter right there is called a ladybug larvae. And those ladybug larvae are going around my plants right now. And they are scavenging up all the little mites and, you know, the, the, um, the aphids that are forming. You'll see right here. And this is, this is something else i got to shoot a video on here. I cannot see for the life of me. You see like that red thing right there? I'm going to squish it right now. Uh, I'm getting those attacked massively. You can't get rid of them. No matter what you spray. They're coming out of the soil or they're coming out of the air. I have no idea what they are. I kill them by the hundreds. But these little larvae that come from ladybugs are literally going around and munching them down. So they are making a full meal out of it. Here's another one right here. Trying to... probably see that I, I can't tell you if it's clear or blurry or what it's really hard to tell what's going on that right there is a ladybug larvae do not kill those if you see them here's another one my greenhouse is getting infested with ladybug larvae If you see those, do not kill them. Believe me when I tell you, that is the best thing you can see in your garden next to the prey mantis pods that are, when the prey mantises, they make these big uh, pods. If you see those, you're lucky as well. So between the both of those, the ladybug larvae and the prey mantis pods, if you see them, you're in good shape because those are really going to control your aphid and your other problems that you have when it comes to insect problems. And believe me when I tell you, I have insect problems where I live really, really badly. So, just wanted to give you a heads up on that. I, I don't see any la ladybugs in here, but I, I am getting ladybugs in my house, believe it or not. So, somewhere along the line, they must have uh, gotten to my attic and now they're starting to get in my house. So, I'm going to slowly start catching those ladybugs and put them in a jar. And then I'm going to bring them in here and let them... You know, let them start making a nest here because once the ladybugs generally make a nest somewhere, they generally keep that nest for years and years and years. They'll just keep reproducing into the same and same area, providing the area is the same. Um, you know, it doesn't change. Like you're not doing any major changes to it. That nest will always be where they go back and reproduce. So if you can establish a ladybug nesting area uh, you're set you are totally set because they'll reproduce and when they reproduce they reproduce by the hundreds i mean they'll literally fill my greenhouse with uh ladybug larvae and stuff like that literally fill it i mean my house in my house in my attic i have a ladybug nest somewhere that's in there and it's been coming they've been reproducing in that attic for i don't know how many years now uh close to a decade so every year I have to catch all these ladybugs in my house, the ones that survive, and then catch them and then bring them outside or let them go or something. Just open a window and let them all fly out the window. But they they starting to fill up my house, and this happens every year. And that's because ladybugs are, I, I don't know if territorial is the right word, but they're like they're territorial. Once they know where they make the nest, they just keep coming back out. So, yeah, keep your keep your eyes open if you see any of those kind of larvae. You know, definitely um, keep an eye for that. You know you're in good shape if you see that, all right? So I just wanted to give you a heads up. If you see them, don't kill them. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.